Church, welcome back to our Biblia Tech uh, weekly segment. Uh, if you missed last one, you should watch it. Uh, we had Johanna from Vandruhoof with us, um, which was such a joy and fun. But like what we were saying is that, you know, your story is a narrative. Your story is authored by the creative heaven and earth. Um, and we are all a part of God's giant, glorious Bibliotheca. And in that, we thought we'd take time to get people here, talk about what they do. People that you might not necessarily get an opportunity on a regular basis to know what happens behind, uh, I guess, just what they choose to let you see. So we're going to like peel back the masks and the veils today uh, and all the projections of success to see the core person of Sarah Graston, also known as Sarah Graston. Um, Thank you. I got scared for a minute there. (laughs) So uh, we're going to go through the same, no, not the same questions, but we're going to start the same with like, I guess, developing an image of you that is true. Uh, Who are you? Child of God. Oh, how do you know? He tells me so. <laughs> In what language? Uh, well, this is English. <laughs> this is, I'm speaking English. <laughs> this is my language. Um, this is English. Wow. I get it. Yeah. Uh, so where were you born? Um, <laughs> yeah, let's start there. That's a good question. <laughs> Okay, uh, I was born in Nanaimo, very exotic little island. Um, it's not hours Nanaimo from here. Island. <laughs> it's on the island. Yeah, okay. It's also like it's like the sixteenth largest island in the world. Is that? It's massive. It's still on the island. All right, continue. And um, I moved to Kelowna when I turned six on Halloween, and. Wait, you turned six on Halloween? No, okay. that was a poorly constructed sentence. On Halloween, <laughs> I moved to Kelowna, and I was six years old as well. And then, uh, yeah. And then you spent the rest of your life at Kelowna, right? Until uh, four, four and a half years ago, where I then moved to Vancouver. You escapade. I escapade, yep. Um, and what called you to uh, Vancouver? Oh, uh, I originally came here to get into dance. That was what I wanted to do professionally, or so I thought. And then, yeah, after like six months of doing that here, I ended up stopping. (laughs) We'll get back to some of that conversation later. But what do you do in a ministry context here at church? So I intern Mm -hmm. for Pastors Ben and Emma. I am also... Uh, Pastor Ben and Emma's PA, their pa. <laughs> Our pa. As they say. <laughs> the pa. Someone go get my pa. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what else do I do? You, you help uh, lead worship? I yeah. sing, yeah, yeah, when Henry's not singing. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> when is Henry not singing? <laughs> well, it was such a good segment last time. Um, and you, up until recently, were heavily involved in the Kids Life Productions. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, I was. <laughs> uh, what did you do? Uh, so I did the script writing for Kids Life the past like three months ish, and then so I if parents also... were upset. They can be like, "Hey, Sarah at avantlifechurch.com. Uh, you can email info at avantlifechurch.com <laughs> or Ben at avantlifechurch.com. I'm always open. My doors are open. I'm happy to chat to you about <laughs> anything that Sarah has done <laughs> to offend you. Mm-hmm. I actually enjoy those conversations. I'm on your side. Sarah, I'm on your side too. Okay, thank you. (laughs) All right, continue, Pa. Uh, (laughs) uh, Yeah, and then I also was uh, the talent in some of the Kids Life productions a couple months back. For the past couple months. I love love film lingo because it just sounds so like Mm. (laughs) like you got punching tickets of yourself. Like, I was one of the talents. I was the person. 
I was very talented. Was. <laughs> I had so much Moving potential. <laughs> what are some of your hobbies and interests? Um, I, <laughs> I love hikes. I really like walking and being outside. That's a big thing for me. I like board games. I really like ping pong. Ping pong. <laughs> Pinging the pong. And <laughs> as they say, it's a professional lingo. And uh, <laughs> uh, as they say in the Olympics, <laughs> it's time to ping the pong. <laughs> I couldn't go this year. I was too busy with church stuff to join the Olympics. Um, I do like to ping the pong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, um, so walks and table tennis walks, and board games. Tennis. Board games, reading is high up there. It's high up there. It's <laughs> and listening to music. Actually, I was having this conversation with Colin the other day. One of the most fun things for to do is um, to listen to music and imagine that you're in a music video or like imagine a scene in front of you and so that ties in with walks <laughs> that explains a lot what's sarah doing <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> what a beautiful name <laughs> sarah why are you drumming <laughs> Good. Um, but you've actually been in musical uh, music videos, right? Uh, yeah, one or two. You're like, shut up, Pastor. <laughs> 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 oh, if you want to see Sarah in a Here musical music video, <laughs> just tune in to Avant Life uh, on YouTube and watch her as she helps the team lead worship. <laughs> There's other things out there. Just Google it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask some questions now. Okay. Uh, these questions really give us insight into who you are, mm. how you think, though I think you've exposed a lot of that already, um, <laughs> and how you come to, uh, I guess, conclusions. All right, this one's easy. We've heard this question before. Um, and so I'm going to give you easy questions straight up. Okay. If you had to be shipwrecked on a desert island, oh, sorry, yep, <laughs> deserted island or desert island, <laughs> But all your human needs, such as food and water, were taken care of. What two items would you want to have with you? Um, my Bible. Okay, I wouldn't need it. It's in my heart, but continue. Uh, and maybe my phone, so I could contact all of you guys. I could still zoom in. <laughs> and I could keep up with Avant Life content. <laughs> The only problem is, is you're on a deserted island, so chances are there's no Wi-Fi, you don't have money, what so you can't, you can't pay your bill. Mm. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you do. Okay, how are you going to yeah. charge it? I stick with what I said. <laughs> I'm going to commit to my yeah. failure. Okay. Show up and see what happens. <laughs> I'm going to take as many selfies as possible, just like Colin. Mm. All right. Number two. Are you a hunter or are you a gatherer? Isn't hunting just extreme gathering? <laughs> You'd think that, know. but that's just playing semantics. No, a gatherer is taking out there and you're just gathering what's already available. It's easy. You don't have to, pers you don't have to like pursue anything. It's there. It's just berries on a bush. Okay, so we're not talking literally. But hunting is that you've got to actually chase down prey, something that's moving Something has an option to scup you. I'm a hunter. Not convincing. Try again. I'm a hunter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hunter. <laughs> I will hunt you. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Next question, Hunter Parr. Um, oh, I need you to close your eyes. All right. Imagine right now you have to design this particular thing for blind people. So could you verbally explain to us how you would design a spice rack for a blind person? A spice rack? Um, have they seen any other They're racks? Blind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
מקרה שכבר יונח בר מיה. It is a piece of metal held up by other pieces of metal that you put your spices in. I think they meant more like what spices would you put up front? Oh. <laughs> you didn't want to know about the actual rack? I would be using 45 degree <laughs> angle wood. <laughs> Uh, no, so like if I was to do this, I would put things like pepper and cinnamon and, and I'm gonna, oh. I'd definitely not put like the chili flakes up front. Like I'd make them work for those bad boys. Um, Wait, is this my spice rack I'm explaining or just? No. <laughs> What a beautiful name it is. It's for a blind person. They're blind. Yes. They're blind. I, I the understand word. that. Blind. <laughs> <laughs> they be blind. <laughs> they be blind, <laughs> So, But they need to be able to use it. This question is taking longer than it should have. Uh, it is. Let's yeah. move along. <sighs> Number four. I can't wait for the word association. This is going to be fun. Ready? Mm. Oh, is that what this is? Nope. Okay. If you had a choice between two superpowers, mm. being invisible or flying... Which one would you choose? Flying. Why? Hands down. That's why you want to fly? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> so honorable. <laughs> It's the Iron Man way. Exactly. It's, It's so gonna... true. You're like Iron Man. <laughs> wow. Hands down flying. <laughs> There it is. It's not, It's not safe to fly with hands up. Um, <laughs> Say less. <laughs> All right, word association. Ready? I'm ready. You know how this works, right? I'm going to say a word. You're going to say immediately the word that comes to mind, and then we're going to make a judgment call on it, okay? You ready? You said with Johanna you're just going to discuss it. Yep. Judgment call. Do you look like Johanna? <laughs> Are you from Vandruhoof? Do I? <laughs> I just love saying that word. It's so powerful. I can't okay. believe her, her, her family called her a, a workhorse. Work, anyway. Fred the workhorse. Fred. <laughs> Fred's angels. <laughs> Oh, man. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. <clears throat> calling. Mine. I have a calling. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I am not forgotten. <laughs> mine. I, God me. knows my name. <laughs> All right. Can I have it? All right, so mine. So instantly you went, I've got a calling. Yeah. Um, why did you do that? <laughs> Self-affirmation. It's a... I think it's deeper. Let's, let's go a bit deeper. Um, Um, you said calling, and then I thought of a couple things at once. One was my phone, which is, belongs to me, hmm. and then one was... <laughs> which calling. is mine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is, and then one was my calling, uh, which I have a calling, and it is mine, and God has given it to me. Okay, let's move on to the next word. That's a good Thank response. You. I appreciate that response. I actually, when I wrote that, I was like, for sure, Sarah is going to say mine. No, you didn't. 100%. Did you write down that you said No, that? but what oh. I thought when I said the word calling was card. Calling card. I don't know why. What's a calling card? Oh. Next word. Potato. Chips. Mm, foodie. All right, mm. let's move on. We don't have to explain. Late night we chips, yeah. Yeah, we know you. We know you. You're, you're a chip person. Uh, Judas. Judah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you mean the innocent child, Pastor Dan? <laughs> A beautiful I'm, young child. <laughs> I'm no, no. You know I'm switching between phonetics and no, you're not. meaning. No, yeah, you that went, was a phonetic one. I said Judas, and you named a child that just turned one. I actually just innocent. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, I'm gonna Dan. email for that. It's gonna be <laughs> my pastoral care. Oh, anyway, Judas, Judah. Oh, love you, Judah. Can't help. All right. Next word. Thrive. Survive. Oh, Switchfoot oh. song. Anyone? Sing it. Um, I don't know how it goes, but he <laughs> says that he doesn't want to survive. He wants to thrive. Oh, okay. So I say thrive and you say survive. Yeah. Do so you see survival as a form of thriving? No. Survival is 
is merely is surviving. That, Thriving so is the survival. above and beyond. <laughs> Sithrival. <laughs> That's what I want. I want Sithrival. <laughs> <laughs> I will Sithrive. <laughs> I know. I will Sithrive. Okay. Last word. <laughs> this has been very I want educational. This part to be over. <laughs> okay. All right. Illegal. Uh, contraband. Contraband. Sheriff of Nottingham. That's, a That's good where game. my mind went. That's a good game. It's a very fun game. When you play that, if you haven't played it, it's really fun. Uh, but it is all about trying to lie in a fun sense. Um, what's your favorite character? Who do you pick? For, oh. Are you like the skinny baker? I can't remember any of them other than the sheriff who is. Oh, who's like Judas, who, mm. which is <laughs> Judah to you. Mm-mm. <laughs> We're not starting that. Okay. That's, it's been fun. Um, that's the end of right now. Uh, tune back. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> pa. We need to go through your word, your psalm. All right, so you sent through mm-hmm. Psalm 18, 1 to 3. Mm-hmm. I actually really like this one. Are Me you going to – you want to read it? I do. Uh, let's read it and then we'll, we'll actually <laughs> make English. this serious. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway, thank you. I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, and I'm saved from my enemies. So how long have, you know, because this is a famous psalm. Mm -hmm. All psalms are famous, I know, but this is one that a lot of people, I wouldn't say a lot of people like, but they do turn to this in hard times. Um, but you can also look at this from a just a reminder. You don't have to be in hard times. For you, uh, how long have you been meditating on this word? Um, this psalm came up really heavily in my life, actually when I first came to Avant Life, which is another reason it's like a big one for me, but I guess that would have been like two and a half years ago. Um, this was like one of the first verses I like committed to memory and spoke out a lot in my life. And what does it mean to you? Like what parts really stand Mm. out to you? I mean, the way that it's introduced, the I love you, O Lord, my strength, um, that like just to proclaim that, it's funny. It's kind of like in a relationship how you can, you can like still be saying I love you through lots of like small menial ways, but you're not actually like explicitly saying it. Um, But it's just kind of like a given. But then when you actually say it, those words are weighted. That's like an actual like intentional thing to say to someone and to like be reminded to do. Um, So just like that proclamation in the beginning. But I actually think it's the, it's all of the names that are, that are God. And like each one means a different thing and looks a different way in my life. Like the horn of salvation is different from being a fortress, but he is all of those things. Um, And this Psalm reminds me a lot of that old hymn, the like fix your eyes upon Jesus. And he talks about the things of the things of the world, the earth, will grow strangely dim. Um, And I love how this... Do you know how that goes? Like, the melody? (laughs) 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 Oh, I thought Um, you were going to sing the words. I love that song. It's a great song. All right, continue. Yeah, and I think this verse, like, to speak it out was actually, like, a like a tangible way of fixing my eyes on Jesus. Um, And yeah, it's been really powerful. I love how it says, I like, I love you. Oh Lord, my strength. Mm. Um, You know, when we talk about love, uh, we often think about it in a, like almost like a merciful context Mm. or a, like an intimate context. But more often than not, when you read what the psalmist write, they're like, you're, I love that you're my strength. Mm. There's not a, it's funny. We live in a world where we, we seem to prove that or have to prove that we've got it all together, that we're our own strength, that, um, you know, the calling is mine, but it's not something that I found in God. It's something I fashioned Mm. myself. Um, And so, Looking at that and just your journey over the last two and a half years, which has actually gone really quickly, um, what would be some words of encouragement, especially to people out there right now as we've gone back into Mm. online gatherings um, and there is 
you know, that, that threat of isolation and just sort of becoming overly insular and, and mm. just disconnecting. Um, we serve a God that endorses, established and instituted mm. the concept of heavenly community. Mm. Um, and he says it's a strength. And so when we read that, it says, I love you, O Lord, you are my strength. Mm -hmm. We have to look at what those strengths are in our life. One of them is community. What would be your encouragement to people tuning in right now in this season in relation to those strengths that are found in community? Mm. I think one of the biggest things, and like I remember the season I was in when I first came to Avant Life, that there was so much I was isolated with and hadn't, like I hadn't been in community for a long time. And so there's so much power in like being in community in vulnerability <clears throat> and having people speak truth over the things that you're going through or, or over your life when maybe you are like struggling to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. And there's like this beautiful um, like like mutual friendship that happens in that there are times when you're in a season of output and times when you're in a season of input. Yeah. Um, and so there is like, there's so much, sometimes people are going to need your output and sometimes you'll be need, needed to, you'll need to have input um, into the things that you're going through. And that can only be done through community and having people remind you of the strength that carries you. You happy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you look like you're like, oh, maybe you've got more to say. Do you have more to say? Um, I just, I want to make sure that was clear. But yeah, remain in community and remain in, um, I guess, don't allow the enemy to keep you isolated in the things you're going through because he'll always try to tell you that you're the only one going through them um, or that you're unique in going through them and that you're too far gone or like whatever those things are. Um, and there is this beautiful exchange that happens in bringing those things to people that you trust and to people who are close to God when they can speak that strength over you and remind you of the strength that sustains you and bring light into dark places. Oh, so good, Pa. That's some, that's some age-old wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? My pie, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for that. I actually really enjoy that. Mm. I tell people all the time, either you're in a season where you ought to change it or you're in a season to be changed. Mm. Um, and essentially that's what you're saying, right? <laughs> you're you're in a you. season to either be called upon to you know, download and influence or you're in a season where God's asking you to be teachable and remain mm. in a learning posture and people are going to need to come around you and invest into you. Um, with all that in mind, and I know we joke around a lot, uh, and I think it's good for people that maybe don't know you very well. Um, but also there's a lot of people out there that don't see the inward working systems and functions of our church. Mm. Uh, and I, what I like, it happened with Johanna and it's, it's with you as well, and we'll be with other people that we interview. Uh, people get a glimpse of how, how, like, how the team work together. Mm. And I think Pastor Emma and I are wonderfully blessed with just a phenomenal team, uh, you being one of them. And you've done an incredible job in having to pick up uh, being the PA for Emma and I, mostly the fact that the, I'm probably one of the hardest people to keep focused on anything and any topic. Um, but that's my calling. <laughs> it's mine. Um, <laughs> but you've done really well. And I think mm, thank you. all the work that you do, once again, is there's a lot of unseen work that actually contributes heavily into the functioning side of our church to do it efficiently, effectively. Um, and I know on behalf of Emma and myself, all the team and everyone that calls Avant Life Church home, we want to say thank you, mm -hmm. that we love you and that we're so encouraged by how far you've come and we're excited about uh, your future ahead. Mm. Thank you. Would you like to pray? Yeah, I would like to. <laughs> yeah, yeah nice. I'm called uh, to pray. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sarah is about to pray. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus, for this church. Thank you, Lord, for this community that you have intentionally and purposely brought together. 
God, you know the names and the stories of each person that is listening and each person present, Lord, and you are in and amongst it all, Father, and you you see everything and you care for everything. We thank you so much for that and for um, everything that you are doing in this season. Um, I pray that we would just be blessed, Lord. Would you just continue to use us to further your kingdom? Would you continue to... Um, encourage us and download into us your truth and your word and that we would walk um, in your steps, Jesus. Your name, amen. Amen. Church, remember, if you're tuning in right now, whenever you're watching this, you're not meant to do life alone. We are better together. So if you need any support and any help, you need to be connected and, and a place to belong. Avant Life Church is for you. Uh, we have all our signups online. You can email us at e- uh, info at uh, avantlifechurch.com um, or you can reach out on social media and one of our pastoral team will uh, connect with you and we'll make sure that you are seated at the table of what God is doing here on the North Shore uh, or wherever he's placed you. Uh, Know that we're for you. Know that God is for you. Um, And as we do this journey together, not in isolation, but in community, we are taking ground for the kingdom in your life and across the city in the ones that we call loved and friends and family. So be blessed. Enjoy this. And I hope you have a great rest of the week. Remember, you're a part of God's Biblioteca. Your narrative is your life, which he authored. So live in it to the fullness that he asks you to. See you next time. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Thank you.